Hello and welcome to This Week on Xbox. This week we search for the truth, take a trip to Japan, and pull off the perfect heist. Let's jump in. The Pinocchio-inspired Souls-like game Lies of P is now available on Xbox consoles and Game Pass. Take on the role of Geppetto's puppet as you uncover secrets and save the city in this new take on the classic fairy tale. Adapt your weapons and your resolve as you confront hard truths and weave just enough lies to overcome them. The Tokyo Game Show is going on right now. And in case you missed our showcase yesterday, here's a blazing fast recap of some of our favorite news from around the show floor. Our very own Sarah Bond revealed that Square Enix's Octopath Traveler 2 is coming to Xbox. With an Xbox release set for early 2024, this beautiful HD 2D RPG features a standalone story where eight travelers embark on an epic journey. Contra Operation Galuga was revealed as a reimagining of the iconic run-and-gun action game from the 80s and is due out early next year. Unicorn Overlord is a new tactical fantasy RPG that was announced to be releasing on March 8th. The Warhaven team announced that they are bringing the medieval fantasy warfare game to the Series X and S. Infinity Strash Dragon Quest The Adventure of Dai showed off a new story trailer which introduces us to a cast of characters that we'll get to play when the game releases September 28th. Wolong Fallen Dynasty gave us a peek at their next DLC which will bring an action-packed storyline, new weapon types, and enemies and bosses when it arrives next week. The free-to-play Battle Royale My Hero Ultra Rumble announced a release date of September 28th. Exo Primal's second season will add a new map, new rigs, and some crossover Street Fighter content when it drops on October 18th. The Apollo Justice Ace Attorney Trilogy will be headed your way on January 25th. The PUBG team teased some behind-the-scenes work on their remastered Erangel map due out this October. And last but not least, the separate way DLC for Resident Evil 4 where you play as Ada Wong dropped this week. Available now on Xbox and Game Pass, Payday 3 is the explosive sequel to one of their most popular co-op shooters of the past decade. In 3, players get to decide how to tackle the heist, whether you sneak in or go guns blazing, whether you let your hostages go or keep them around as pawns, and whether you go at it alone or bring friends. We let you know last week that the early access for Mortal Kombat 1 had begun. But now it's time to finish him, as the fighting game's full release is here. In it, you'll discover a reborn Mortal Kombat universe created by Fire God Liu Kang. New life is breathed into this iconic franchise with the addition of a new fighting system, game modes, and of course, fatality. You are woefully unprepared, Earthrumber. Crashing onto Xbox and Game Pass, Party Animals is here to let you prove once and for all that you're the ultimate competitive brawler. Choose from a diverse cast of adorable animals as you battle it out across multiple game modes to be the last one left standing. Released this week, Ugly is a puzzle platformer about a tormented nobleman confronting the traumas of his past. Use an innovative mirror mechanic to solve challenging puzzle rooms and defeat towering bosses as you strive to piece together the ugly truth. Early access is kicked off for EA Sports FC 24. Take the pitch with over 19,000 fully licensed players and over 700 teams in the most authentic football experience ever. If you're on the fence, you can trial the game for up to 10 hours via Game Pass Ultimate and EA Play. The thrill of NASCAR meets the rush of arcade racing in NASCAR Arcade Rush. Slide into the driver's seat and fly across reimagined racetracks in high-speed wheel-to-wheel action. Choose from a huge selection of horsepower spanning more than 75 years of stock car racing with thousands of customization options. The digital adaptation of the board game Gloomhaven has arrived on consoles this week. Gloomhaven mixes tactical RPG and dungeon crawling mechanics across 250 scenarios and comes with 17 unique mercenaries to master. 2D point-and-click adventure game Whateverland is also available on Xbox Now. It features a non-linear story filled to the brim with branching dialogue options. The game is hand-painted and stars a skilled thief that has to team up with a charming ghost named Nick in order to find a way out of a sticky situation. 
We've rolled out the first six playlists in our new monthly Spotify Music Drop. Each playlist combines a selection of songs that belong to a certain theme, like Saddies for Baddies, which provides a somber score for the most heartbreaking cutscenes, and the Synthwave Speedrun, which is full of a retro future flavor. Spotify links are long, so we put the link in the description for you. Speaking of audio, the official Xbox podcast is back in business. This week, our crew introduces themselves before diving into all the news coming out of the Tokyo Game Show and more. You can check it out here on our Xbox YouTube channel or anywhere podcasts are served up. And what better way to listen to those new playlists and podcasts than the newly released SteelSeries Arctis Nova 7X wireless headset in white. These bad boys come with a bunch of fancy features that any audiophile gamer would love. In the celebration of International Hobbit Day, Private Division teased a new game called Tales of the Shire. An upcoming cozy Lord of the Rings game set in the books by J.R.R. Tolkien. It's due to release in 2024. Lead powerful forces in defense of your homeland in the Sultan's Ascend DLC for Age of Empires 4. Due out November 14th, pre-orders are now available for the exciting new expansion set in the Middle East. The DLC will add two new playable civs, the Japanese and the Byzantines, ten new maps, new unlockable rewards, and more. The Beyond the Dawn expansion for Tales of Arise was recently announced. A mysterious girl brings the group back together for an intriguing new story set in a world that's changed since the conclusion of the base game. Beyond the Dawn comes our way November 9th. The Age of War continues in Conan Exiles with its second chapter. Fortify your base against revamp purges or set off in search of newly improved loot. The First Descendant is hosting a cross-play open beta now through September 25th. This is your best chance to try out one of the 11 basic Descendants and two Ultimate Descendants in this next-gen looter shooter before it releases. Now's the time to join in on Overwatch 2's anniversary event. Play special limited time modes like Battle for Olympus, Assault, and more. You can even spend your hard-earned credits on returning character skins. The Messengers of Death have arrived for Apex Legends Harbinger's event. The event brings new items, battlegrounds, and rewards to the Battle Royale for a limited time. This week's free play days will have you hopping on a tractor, building up your defenses, and power crushing your enemies because Xbox Game Pass Core and Ultimate members can play Farming Simulator 22, State of Decay 2, and Tekken 7. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend!